the live on the camera? Oh, live on the camera. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready? Yeah, do it, Lars. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, get ready to be amazed. Is it, is it Put your again? hands together and make some noise. Hello, everybody. It's straight up week eight. And boy, do we have so much to talk to or talk about. We have a tremendous of things to talk about. Oh, a plethora, if you will. Plethora. So how are you? Sunburnt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little sunburnt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little exhausted. Yeah. How about yourself? I, uh, I didn't get as much sun as I could have, but... At the same time, though, uh, I I got some. I, I mean, there's there's some tingle. Some. No, I got some. I got some <laughs> tingle in my back. No, in my sunburn. Oh my god, I'm right, just digging a hole. <laughs> I got some sun. Um, but I actually like my legs are cramping up from like all the walking. Yeah, that we did. Cause you had me on those trails all weekend. Okay. <laughs> Shall we tell our audience where we were? Yes, I think so. We visited... Visited. The, visited <laughs> some of the rural parts of Florida. Yes. Um, in a little social, if you will. With, mm -hmm. We were amongst friends. Mm -hmm. And we... Mixed company. Mixed bag. Mm -hmm. We spent... Oh, we, what, oh. God? <laughs> By God? Hold on. Our camera just oh, failed. God. Bring us back in. Hold Bring on, us let back me make in. Make sure this is together, because clearly we're not together. We are sorry. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Okay, Straight we're up, good. we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we're good. We're back, and we're and we're back. We're back. Uh, that was perfect timing, though. It was like right at the reveal, and people mm -hmm. are going to be in suspense, like, "Oh, where were they? Ooh, yeah, they were right. Where, oh, and we were." Oh. We were at the luxurious Sawmill Campground. Yes. We went camping this weekend. Correct. In Florida. And we were quite the popular group. We absolutely were mm -hmm. a standout yeah. duo. Mm -hmm. We had bunny ears, which we decided to forego for the, part, for the podcast tonight, just because... We wore them for three days straight. We did. We wore those bunny I mean, ears. We got our dollars worth. Let me just tell you, when we go in, we commit. <laughs> that was that was a commitment. It we really was a commitment. Definitely got the dollars value out of those ears. Oh my god. We were dubbed the sawmill bunnies. Sawmill bunnies. Just like the Playboy bunnies. That was so us. and just so you know, sawmill is a gay clothing optional. Uh, camp, camp resort, camping resort. So, and they have trailers. There's some retirees. There's a big pool in the middle. Yes, there's a pool. It's mm -hmm. not big. It's little. But. And I mean, it's bigger than the Parliament House pool. Yeah, I guess it is. I it's think. About the same well, I size, think maybe. maybe. Yeah, but I mean, so there's that. Uh, it it in this place is you know it is very far. It's it's a little over an hour outside of Orlando. I think it's a little closer to Tampa, right? How far did you drive? It took me about forty five minutes. Okay, and uh, so and then it's in the wilderness. So there's uh, quite a few things there. Then we'll get into the the really nitty gritty here shortly. But my personal favorite thing at Sawmill is the trails. Which uh, is around a little lake, and then there's trails that lead back in the woods. And for those that aren't familiar with Florida, Florida wilderness, there's lots of fern on the ground because it's a moist, we're a very moist place to live. And palms. And palms and pine. Lar the, the tall trees are the pine, and then you have the palms that create baby canopy. palms mm -hmm. all over the place. And sugar sand. Sand. Yeah. yeah sand. The trails are sand, uh, you know. So we're just basically a big sandbar floating in the ocean. So now that we've set the scene, I, I feel like we, we needed to paint paint a little bit of a picture. Yes, the, stage, we, the yeah. stage is set, so now it's yes. story time. Yes, yes. 
There's so many. Oh my god, there's I mean, so many stories. There are. Uh, well, and hold on, because we still have to pick. There's a little more of this painting that we gotta that we have to talk about. The um, so there's a bar that's on site, right? There were several mm-hmm. bars. Yeah. One was called Woody's. Woody's, and that's just this one that's adjacent to the pool. Right. Next it's the to largest the pool. one. Mm-hmm. And then there's another one on the pool deck called Splash. Mm-hmm. Correct. And then there's the Tiki Bar off the side as well. There's a, yes, there's mm-hmm. two on the pool actually. That's where we got our uh, prize for, for tug of war. Yes. Oh my God. Tug of war. We won. Oh my God. We did that. You were a big winner this weekend. But we'll I get was into a that big later. Winner. Yes, I she was. She was a big winner, and we'll we will reveal that later. Um, so in oh, and in Woody's, that's where the drag shows are, and there's yes. uh, a little we, pool hall right next door to it. Also, we played bingo. Yes, this weekend <laughs> on fr- Friday night we played bingo. E forty five. Once again, that's E forty five. Oh, there's no E. <laughs> Bango, girl. <laughs> Listen, I, you know. I think the 45 would fall under N45. Oh, N45. But I think the announcer was saying it more like N for some reason. <laughs> I don't, do you know why he was doing that? Because, so, Ian. out there in the middle of nowhere, when you get out in the middle of nowhere, Florida, you start running into people with accents. And they have a really, it's a very screechy, strange way of speaking, in my opinion. The Florida people, it, it becomes water, water, go water. down there. Oh, yeah, water. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you want to go down to the creek and get in the water? I'm like, excuse me? I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I would know what that means. I'm sure you would. You'd probably say a, a variation of that in West Virginia. Shocker. So, um, so yeah, there's Woody's, there's a little mm-hmm. stage, they did a drag show, a few oh, drag shows. Oh, boy, did they. Um, they did, like, a little love match, match game. Oh, yeah. Boring. With new couples, which was really long and drawn out and kind of yeah bland. I mean, I think it would have been good if it was just, like, quick, pop it off, get it If they would have went a little know? smoother and the answers would have been a little more fun. But they, I yeah. think they were just taking it way too serious. Like, they were just really thinking hard about this stuff. Right. And which is fine, but, you know, like, you don't ask, like, a really sophisticated Super couple. Personal question. You don't ask them, like, what is, you know, what's your favorite position in the bedroom with your partner? And it's like... Can we get a little more interesting than that? It should that? be more about... <clears throat> it should be more about... Like the one about the shower. What part of the body do they wash first? That's that's a couple that's of questions. That yeah. shows you pay attention to well, your partner in the shower. The one that I thought was really cute was the, the one where she was like, would you rather rest in a hammock watching the stars right. or do you want to have a wild fuck? Like an either or yeah. kind of scenario. Yeah, but I they love were that. coming up with some really complex... Yeah, like, what kind of porn do you watch? Like, bitch, you are going to get somebody in trouble, okay? They may not even right. want the, want to watch porn, you know? They like, may not even be together now. Right. <laughs> I mean, we just, up happy homes. <laughs> <laughs> they were just home wrecking and everything. Home wreckers. Yeah. So, so um, yeah. So the drag shows happened, mm-hmm. and oh, there's also tenting at the Sawmill Campground, which on the drive home... I had in my mind that I was going to go purchase a tent this week. Really? Yeah, I had so much fun there. I think that's a nice little day trip, getaway, like mm. an overnight adventure that would be inexpensive and mm. close to here. So. I think it's almost like, it's only like $10 a night for tent camp. There you go. But I will caution you though, as someone who has camped in Florida with an in a tent, we're going into the wrong season for that. Well, I will say that the tent maybe also have been a facade because I'm pretty sure I could find a camper to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if I'm lucky, I can stay in that long house that was really pretty on the corner with a koi pond. Oh, I don't think anybody lives there. Maybe we could. I do, think they were on vacation. Did you know there's a Florida squatter law? If you're in, if you can squat in a building for like x amount of time, days, usually you, it's yours. Days. Set up residency, change address. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that works though. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, it's not right. The, still, rules the owner would like, have to go through an eviction process, just like property management. 
So wait, I'm so sure they don't expedited. own it then. They don't own it per se, but they can yeah, stay yeah. there until the eviction process goes through. That's stupid. I think. But that's why Florida has a very fast eviction process. I'm not an attorney, by the way. No, no, no. <laughs> We're not attorneys. <laughs> but I do remember that the eviction process in Florida moves very quickly. Because when I worked in the biz, it like I think we got one done in seven days. I've never done an eviction here, so... It's really I don't do fast. that anymore. Really, really fast here. I was shocked. Because in Missouri, you got at least 30 days. And more, more, than, more than likely, the courts were so backed up up there, you more than likely were going to get three months. You're going to get 90 days. You, in North Carolina, it was usually like a 60-day period almost. Because mm-hmm. um, there's a lot of waiting periods in between processes. Like you file your papers, you wait for the papers to be served. Papers get served, then you wait for a court date. Court happens, then you have to wait for the sheriff's department to submit. That There's a 10-day wait period after that, and then you have to wait for the sheriff's department to do their part. So it could be 60 days. In West Virginia, Jesus. oh my God, it's called a wrongful occupation in West Virginia. And like you're doing the wrong job, but no, I guess for occupancy. Mm. The wrongful occupation, and you can file the paperwork, literally have a court date the next week, and lock them out that same day. It's that quick. Oh, wow. I mean, you don't want to do that, of course. You want to try to give them an opportunity to leave, but it's... I mean, usually it's, when it's gotten that bad, they've already got, what, three or four gone. months out of you? So... But <laughs> it is interesting, though, like in the field that I work in, how it's called different... It's the same thing, the same process, but it's mm-hmm. called different things in different states. Like, West Virginia is called wrongful occupation, and North Carolina is called a summary ejectment. Here in Florida, I think they just call it an eviction. It's just an eviction. We're playing Jane down here. And um, in Georgia, it is called... um, I can't even think of it, but it's so stupid. It just, it doesn't sound anything like what it is, but... Hmm. The eviction process is called different things in different states. Hmm. How about that? And now we're way off topic. I know, surprise topic, yay! Uh, So, moving back to Sawmill. Back to Sawmill yeah, and this and log cabin that I might be staying oh in. Oh my god, it just, is just so extravagant. I really a, do it's like that It's got street lights. Uh-huh. It has a koi mm-hmm. pond. Mm-hmm. It has a wraparound yeah. porch. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. It has a full-size front door. Well, it I guess does. it's like one-size. What? Glass, no. paint, glass pane door? Yeah, that's frosted. stained glass, I believe. It was stained glass around Such it. a beautiful little... Abode. Like somebody spent some dollars on that place. Yes. Somebody I'll, spent some money. And a part of me wanted to just sweep the porch off. Just, I don't know. I just wanted to sweep the porch off. Well, I didn't think anybody lived there. We could have peeked in the window. I don't know why I didn't think I about think that. I think somebody had been there recently because, I mean, the landscaping was that capped. Mm-hmm. And maybe unless they oh. paid somebody to do it or something. Maybe they got could that kind be. of money because yeah, it looked like a pretty lavish Mm-hmm. lot. <laughs> well, it was a trailer. It was definitely a trailer. It was a really, really nice trailer, but it you was think? a trailer. Oh, yeah. For sure. I've been looking at them because I want to I buy one for myself. And it, it was it was definitely just a really, really nice trailer, I think, in my opinion. Well, it was the nicest one that I saw. Oh, I agree. Absolutely. I would love a personal tour someday. I, mm, me as well. Maybe we'll meet the owners at the pool. One, <laughs> <laughs> one can only hope. Speaking of the pool, we met lots of friends at the pool. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. The pool was fun. It was nice. Mm-hmm. Like, the temperature of the pool was just right. Mm. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. And it was next like month, April 24th. <laughs> Miss Congeniality reference. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so let's talk about... Let's talk more about... Well, well let's talk about our living... Our living situation, situation this okay. weekend, which was, it was kind of what I expected, but not. Well, okay, so we got there, and we were staying in a, a very large double-wide trailer. Yes, they called it the bunkhouse. The bunkhouse, and it, uh, it, it held quite a few people. Uh, we had, I think, 12? 12 or 13. I didn't count. I think it was 12 or 13 people that were there, but anyway... And so we were in the West Wing, is what we called it, and it was basically an addition onto the trailer, and it had one, two, three, four, five beds in that room. There were five beds in the mm-hmm. in room. And it was one big room. There was no privacy. 
Right. So that it was happened. kind of like dorm housing or something. Right. Like and dorm house. Yes. And one of the couples weren't there the first night, so we'll we'll get into Friday night, but I literally just passed out on that bed. <laughs> so did I. And well, bunny, well, not bunny ears and all. No, no. We'll get into it in a moment, but there was uh, one bed in the living room area. And I eventually commandeered that one. Was it split level? It was a split level. There was mm-hmm. a step down into yeah. the addition. Yeah. And then there was one bed in the living room area. Mm-hmm. There were two reclining chairs that were super comfortable. They were yes. almost like a dentist chair. You could lay a little further back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they the reclined. Level. They reclined. Yeah. Then there was a private bedroom with its own bathroom. Mm-hmm. With the master. And then there were there two. There was another bedrooms. private bedroom bedroom mm-hmm. and then there was another private bedroom at the very end yes yeah, so there were three bedrooms one was a master mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. two bathrooms two bathrooms yeah and i was really worried about us not having time to poop or shower or but you know what it went very the smoothly. schedule wasn't too bad for as many people as there were we got it together we did just fine it was it was very fabulous and there were several softball people that stayed in other cabins outside right. of ours. There was a couple of other cabins mm-hmm. also reserved for yes. the occasion. And it was absolutely fabulous. It was so fun. It was a lot of fun. It was some good report built, mm-hmm. some stories and memories made. Uh, yes. So shall we, so now that we've really set the scene, shall we sure. dive into Friday night? We'll, we're just, just going to do a right day, in. we'll do a day at a time. We'll, we'll do, let's try thing. to stay on a timeline here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like that. So, so I arrived first. Yeah, you were first, so I I'll got there go. on Friday after work. I left work around four ish. Mm. Got there shortly after five and ran into the posses at the pool. Mm-hmm. There was this great. There was a nice grand entrance when I walked entrance when I walked onto the pool deck oh my god everybody screamed my name <laughs> they clearly had a little bit of alcohol in them already had already started that's our so friends they I mean there's only like eight or nine people out of the pool deck at this point but mm-hmm. it was a nice warm welcome in. I felt mm-hmm. like I was part of the group well you um, are part of the group so <laughs> well I love this <laughs> so um <laughs> well you know I just moved here in July and so mm-hmm. you don't really you know take some time to build friendships and not in Orlando like Clearly, especially we, when you're we, part of the softball group. We latch on to you. We latch on to people. We don't let you go. So that so then we went back to the bunkhouse and kind of relaxed after the pool. Had a um, few little cocktails before heading out to good old Woody's for the bingo. Mm-hmm. Her and cheeks um, were fire engine red by the time I got there. <laughs> but continue. <laughs> yeah, well, we can pick up there. I mean, we... No, tell us about bingo. I'm I'm curious about uh, bingo. Tell me. Well, bingo was luck luckluster to say the least. Nobody in our group won crap. They played five games. Four of them was worth twenty five dollars, and the finale fifth game was a coverall. You had to cover everything on your board, and there were three boards on each playing card. Mm-hmm. I purchased two, and I had Tony. Always such a good. Congratulations person. on uh, showing restraint and only purchasing two. Thank you. I'm very proud you of my habits. Uh-huh. She knows me so well. Um, so I limited it to two, which was a $10 purchase. Um, so I let Tony, which is a good, Tony is so nice. I just kind Tony of, is. I kind he of is. got to know Tony this weekend mm-hmm. and he's so nice. Yeah. Tony's fantastic. He's husband material actually, I think. He could be a good husband for somebody. Go on and get him, girl. The water's warm. Can't say I ain't thought about it. <laughs> As you'll find out here in a moment. Um, so, Tony played one of my cards, but nobody in our group won anything. We were all so close. I think mm-hmm. one person was like one ball away. They needed one ball for like 10 calls and never got it. So, but that was, it was luck luckluster to say the least. Mm-hmm. The room was absolutely filled. Should know that um, a place of establishment such as this does cater more to the older clientele. A or little bit, yeah. retirees. I think... This is my one problem with the gay community these days is that people put so much merit in what they think something is going to be like right. before they go out and just experience it and find out if it's true or not. Right. I mean, there's a stigma mm-hmm. on places like this, too. And right? I'm just as guilty as everyone else is. Before I went to Sawmill, I heard the rumors that it was nothing but a bunch of naked old men. And then I went out there and I realized that it's not that that, it, that happens. It is right. there. But 
get over yourself because get over yourself because one day you two are going to be a naked old man. And that's <laughs> true. No, that is well. No, I mean, don't yeah. be kidding. That's real. Well, but I, I mean, will say that I saw some pretty impressive stuff this weekend. Some pretty sexy daddies, if you will. Oh yeah. I, and I mean, anybody that knows me knows I do love and appreciate my sex daddies. Yes, that's true. It's true. Not quite my cup of tea, but. There was so there were several cups of tea for me there as well. Oh, honey, there weekend. were gallons of tea. <laughs> for me. Gallons. She <laughs> wanted to go out and get a big old drink. Big gulp, honey. Seven mm-hmm. Eleven. Yeah. So was it bingo? Was when I showed up? Was you it? showed up right after bingo. I think okay. that was during the drag show. Excellent. Yeah, it was right about nine thirty when we got there. Literally, literally, Clint and I arrived on scene. Didn't unpack a damn thing. We did not unpack anything other than our cups. Went inside, made a drink, and then headed over to good old Woody's to see this drag show that everybody was talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this one was already 20 shits to the wind. 20 I shits. To like I said, fire engine red her face was. Absolutely. And I had seen no sun. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no, no sun yet, and and it was funny because there the second like when I first arrived, she was you know you know how you have those friends if you're not drunk, then it's not fun. <laughs> like everybody else, everybody else was drunk too, and I'm not trying to make it sound like you know everybody else felt that way. I just I wasn't there yet. She had some catching up to do. I did, and oh, did I ever get there? I caught you. I caught you. She caught up. I caught up. She did not surpass because I think I was a little bit more belligerent than she was. She she held it together pretty good, but oh no, yeah, I no, my liver. She does a good job. She knows her. She knows her shit. She knows her shit. Well, and I also know my limits. In lieu of all the out, not in lieu, but in um, one of the consequences of alcohol is you tend to do things you wouldn't normally do. Mm Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I'm waiting to see just how far we're gonna go. Well, I will say <laughs> after <laughs> I will say that after the drag show, <laughs> at some point I don't even know what I did with the clothes, but I did end up in my little fire engine panties, my little fire engine undies mm-hmm, mm-hmm. on the dance floor. Oh, that was that was uh, that was actually after your concussion. I think was it after? Or was it no? Yeah. I, I was in my clothes still. Yeah, you were sad your clothes on. Well, it was... Let me just... Well, you can't really see because I put a Band-Aid on it, but I got a little boo-boo. Not from the trails. The little boo-boo. On my knee from uh, thinking I was cute when I was drunk and just twirling on the dance floor and my legs just went out from under me. I thought thought you were going to do like a front flip or something. Oh, girl, no. But um, I, I heard your... Did your head hit at all? Because I could have... It did kind of give a little tap, but... Okay. This hand was the saving grace. Oh, I kind of okay. When I went down, I kind of was she down on all... She said, when I went down... <laughs> when I went down, when the event <laughs> happened, um, I kind of... I kind of ended up in all fours, like doggy style, but like my head kind of bounced on my hand on the ground. Oh, thank God. Skipped okay. my knee up. And then I tried to... He, this one... God love her. She came over and was like, girl, you okay? Mm. And I said, move, I'm fine. I was trying to make my rebound recovery, like play it off. But. And I just, I would like to just say, you know, we've been, we're very close now and I get that, <laughs> but it's been a short period of time, but I can read you like a book and I, you gave me the, get the fuck away from me, I'm <gasps> trying to play this off, I, and I was like, okay, all right, you're good, you're good. And I, I walked did, away. I bounced, I just... I will. I don't. It felt like I was twerking, but I'm sure I wasn't. No, 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 no. There I think was no I twerking. did. A, I think I even laid back and did a little leg kick, and then just popped right back. Something up. like that, yeah. And she just woo and just popped just up right like back at she it. just she was risen. I was more <laughs> humiliated than anything, and it Correct. was really a buzz kill for a second. For a second, though. I, hey, nice recovery, though. Oh, thank you. Nice recovery thank afterwards. You. I felt like Miss USA. Because it was right after that, I believe, that I went outside to sit down and smoke, and you came out to join me. Absolutely. And we just sat there. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> I know what you're going at. I know what you're getting at. Well, I am not embarrassed of liquid courage, we'll call it. What was that? I don't know. 
Um, You're all right, though. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed of the liquid courage that I had Friday night. I did step way outside my box, mm -hmm. which is this big. And the box oh. I was living in was about this big. I was proud of the real estate that you upgraded, too, I have to say. Um, you upgraded that lot size quite a bit. Quite a bit. Thank you. It was this. This is the little box <laughs> that I lived, was living in. And then the liquid courage just grew that mm -hmm. box. Yeah. So I'll get down to it. There was a nice daddy type figure that came over and introduced himself. Oh, he was very regal. He was a regal gentleman. And since this is very a quite handsome. common name, I'm going to make one up. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we gotta make up names for this. We'll call him Rick the Dick. Rick the Dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, he come. We were just kind of just chatting back and forth, mm -hmm. just minding our own p's and q's, and mm -hmm. along comes Rick the Dick. Yes. Who is wearing? And I'm not sure how you get at this point either in this in this scene or this setting, but he was wearing a nice sleeveless T-shirt, but no bottoms. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> no bottoms. I believe my first question was him was, well, what happened to your pants? <laughs> right. Well, he was well. It was like, hey, it's nice to be. Whoa, you're not wearing under panties. Yeah. You're not wearing mm -hmm. any undies whatsoever. No right. bottoms. And this was our first encounter with nudity this for the weekend. Was there the was first a encounter. lot more after that, but but it was the first one, and you know. And you know, I, this was my first time at the sawmill, mm -hmm. so... And I only go once a year, so it's, it's... When you live in a world where everybody has clothes, and then you go to a world where no one has clothes, it's, it, it's a little distressful. It's a lot to take in. Yeah, at once. A but lot to take in. you catch up quickly, as you will, you will find out. Well, I wanted to make it a memorable weekend, and the liquid courage was just on fire, so... I was like, we gotta get a picture of this. <laughs> we gotta get a picture. <laughs> this one's phone was dead at that point. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, Cause she forgot to set her auto lock screen. Correct. But um, so I was like, here, use my phone. Let's get a picture. So. And leading up to this, mind you, I think I turned away to talk to someone else about something. And then I turned back around and you're wanting a picture with this man. And I'm like, oh good God, there's a penis. <laughs> it wasn't even just didn't even see it coming. Well, there's a part that we missed because there was actually another gentleman that came over. Actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. He was wearing bottoms. He was. No, 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 no. He was wearing underwear. He was only wearing underwear. They were turquoise. Oh, he was. They were turquoise underwear. underwear. Mm -hmm. With stripes. Correct. Stripes. But um, he was wearing bottoms, but no top. Correct. So together, they would have completed an ensemble almost. Almost, yeah. But he came over as well because he saw Rick the Dick mm -hmm. standing there and me, I guess, me and my bunny ears. Right. The sawmill bunnies, we were... Right before the picture we very came over and I was mm -hmm. like, picture time. So here we are with two pingas just flopping in the wind. Yeah. One had a sleeping bag. One did look like an armadillo. Yeah. It was I, a little... I love them. You can play peekaboo with it. Yeah, and this was actually... Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen a few uncut members in my time, but this one was, like, it was pretty. It was very pretty. Because it, it didn't have too much of the foreskin, but, like, when I pulled the skin back, and I did touch it, pull the skin back... <laughs> <laughs> I did as well, actually. When I pulled the one. skin back, it just kind of... The little head stayed out. Mm. It was yeah. pretty. And yeah. It was a nice pink color. Boy, did we not realize what we were getting ourselves into with that one, did we? Not really. First impressions don't really last very long, no, do they? No, they don't. Because there's more to that story on Saturday, but we'll get so, into that yeah, later. Yeah, that's Saturday. So, so I wanted to do this photo op, so I got down like a good bunny and just... Oh, la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> and they hand me the camera... And I lean up to get everybody in the picture, and they, they both go, whoa, whoa. I, one of them said, I'm in politics, and the other one said, I'm, was, a I'm a teacher. And oh, we were both like, wow. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing at a gay naked right. resort then? Those that you have to watch out for. Well, not I have only, a, I have a theory. in politics, I think he was a Republican. 
politician. <laughs> Maybe he lived in the log cabin place that we were talking he about. He definitely did not live there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. Here's my thing. Well, we'll get, I have a theory about this gentleman, but we'll get a, when we get to Saturday, I'll tell you my theory about Mr. Politician. Well, what are we going to call him? We'll call him Sal. Sal sounds good. Mm-hmm. Sounds real good. So anyway, yeah. So there we are with Rick the Dick. Rick the Dick and Sal. And Sloppy Sal. We're going to call and him Sloppy Sal. Uh, sloppy Sal. That works. <laughs> so I get on the camera and... Well, it wasn't until the next morning that we discovered... Because I had to really look back on my camera feed to realize and remember some of the things that happened Friday night. Yeah. But um, I just gave a little... Uh, la, la, la. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, I took a live picture. And it was a live so photo. You so when you hold it, it down, on an iPhone, yeah. Rick the Dick's... <laughs> dead, just give, just give a little bounce for you. A little bounce action. Just a little bouncy action and with your it's tongue. It's all fun and games. With her tongue going... Oh. <laughs> it's just much slower. Much, so much that slower. that happened Friday night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was the beginning of the long journey. And that was the beginning of the end for me. Uh, I, at that point, I finally no. started feeling myself. I started feeling it. Then. Not the beginning of the end. It was the beginning of a long journey. <laughs> there were a lot a of quests. Events. There was a lot of liberating events that took place following... That incident. Correct. And um, mm-hmm. honestly, the middle part in between that and going into the trails is a, bl- a little bit of a blur. I, no, I, know I we remember. Met, we met a, quite a few people after that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, because after that happened, uh, I, we were looking for a lighter because you didn't have a lighter. Right. And then um, I asked this one guy for a lighter and he goes, well, I'm not going to fuck you. And I was like... <laughs> That makes absolutely no sense, and you're really way too old for me anyway. And he was like, well, fine, fuck off then. And I was like, you know what? Fuck you, bye. And I walked away. I missed this interaction. Yeah, because you were... Was off trying to find a light as yeah, well. Yeah, <laughs> because you still had your bobtail at that point. We had little bunny tails. We had little bunny tails. At one point. That were... They were ripped off of they us. Were van- they vanished quickly. Yeah, they, they did not last. The ears lasted, but the I can say that not. this one didn't lose any anything, well, except for your wallet. <laughs> Allegedly. But that's that's a Sunday story when we get to today. Um, but I managed to lose not only my little bobtail, I also lost his bobtail. Right, because she lost hers and was like, well, I don't want you to go without it. And at this point, she was in her skivvies. So we clipped that little bad boy undies. on there, and she was just feeling herself all over the place, dancing around, having a good time. Mm-hmm. And that was when we met, da- uh, excuse me, <clears throat> Drake. We'll call him Drake, the dancer. We did meet a Drake. Yeah, we met Drake, the dancer, and he was can dancing. Can we call him Beer Can? Okay. I, I think, think Beer Can I think that's fair. fair. I BC. Think fair. We'll call him BC. BC. Double entendre. <laughs> Okay, so Beer Can B3, enters, enters the stage and starts dancing because the drag show's over and we're dancing with we're dancing with BC on the dance floor mm-hmm. and BC with and I and I really I really started to like that one that was fun yeah he was very handsome he was quite he was nice too he was very mm-hmm. down to earth Latin very well trimmed body hair had a gorgeous mm-hmm. smile great smile nice mm-hmm. full beard yeah mm-hmm. very nice. Uh, and yes, I mean, this is a gay podcast. We're going there. Had a beautiful penis. But that's Saturday. That's Saturday. We didn't see it Friday night. Right. So we're still on Friday. We'll and talk about the rear, the rear view. The rear view. it was ca- enough cakes. Oh, yeah, it was open. It was enough cakes mm-hmm. to feed a village. Okay. I mean, I could have just stayed there for days. I really It couldn't. was a nice curvature. Just, <laughs> just the, all it, up it was there. almost like two teardrops. Yeah. I it mean, was very pretty. It was perfect. It was actually absolutely perfect. Okay, well, then we, so moving on. Yeah, we went outside. We finally found a lighter, and then that's when we started having a cigarette and uh, talking to some people. A lot of people. And ironically, oh, we met Canada. Canada. Mm-hmm. We met um, <laughs> the nerd that, came, that you kept nerd. trying to introduce me to, and I'm like, I'm over it. I don't care. Nerdy was cute, though. Nerdy yeah. was cute. He was cute. He was a little snaggletooth, but he was all right. He was cute. Uh, we met... We ran into Greg... A Greg? I think. 
We also oh. ran in, we ran into Rick the Dick. Again. The the yeah, Rick the Dick came Actually, back. Actually, Rick the Dick and Nerd Boy, I think, were together. Oh. They were they were together. Shocker. Well, we also met some really nice guy too. He's the one that said good morning to us and called us the sawmill bunnies the next yes. morning. Well, I I'm can't gonna, remember who We'll call it nipples. N- oh, no. I do remember his nipples. Real name. <laughs> oh, my God. I totally forgot about nipples. We'll call it oh, nipples. Yes. I do remember his. Actually, ironically, I'm jumping a little ahead, but Saturday, I remembered everybody's name that I met. Yeah. You Everybody's. were like a fucking, a fucking turtle. You did not. I remembered everything. everybody's name Saturday, yeah. but very. We, but we'll call him Nipples. Nipples. He was a very pleasant. Oh yeah. Nice lean. Very nice guy. Lean, older daddy type figure. Mm-hmm. Again, another one that wasn't quite my cup of tea, but he had the personality that I could have gotten over. He had very good personality. Great mm-hmm. smile. Very handsome. Like yeah. a very distinguished, handsome fella mm-hmm. with the most gorgeous pencil eraser nipples that you will I mean, ever see in your just life. just perfection. They were nice and pink and they were just mm-hmm. a nice shape. Yeah. And that's when... Um, it was another photo opportunity. Another photo opportunity. It was like Mount Nipplemore. So again, <laughs> and I got this one in the... Yes, I finally started photo. getting into the naughty stuff. I decided we, to uh, lick lick a nip. We gave those udders a little... Oh yeah, we gave a little taste. We tried to get some milk out. And we got a picture of that, actually. That was Another good. live photo. Another live photo. Another live oh, did it photo. move? I haven't seen that it one. It does move. move. Oh, jeez. I look like a little... <laughs> oh, jeez. I look like a little calf trying to get some milk from its mommy. Oh, jeez in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So that happened. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think that's when we departed. We were going to venture into the yes. trails. We ventured into the trails. The legendary sawmill trails. And, you know, ironically... Considering, I think it was around one thirty ish in the morning mm. at this point, we very quickly at a huge intersection just ran into a nice group of peeps. What? I'm trying to think who was present. We ran into a nice group of. Well, oh, it was. Oh, it was it Nerd was Boy. Rick the Dick and Nerd Boy. Yeah, Rick the Dick and, and Nerd Boy. Yeah. We were kind of just chatting a bit. Mm-hmm. That then, was when Nerd Boy and I made out. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. You did. Yeah, he was actually a decent kisser, I believe. And then, on their way out, we met another couple from Jacksonville. Oh, mm mm-hmm. I remember their names. We're not going to say. We'll just call them Jacksonville. There was a big group of people there from Jacksonville as well. Celebrating one of their friends' marriage. The two gentlemen got married. It was very very sweet. Very sweet. So, there was a big group there, but we met a couple. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know they were a couple. It's funny. I didn't either until they did um, the dating game on it, Saturday. Well, no, well, the couple that we met in the trails. It oh, was not them. right. Oh, yes, please. It was not them, but like please I was talking re- to re- one. Rerun the dialogue. I was talking to one while this one was sucking face with Nerd Boy. I was talking mm. to one, and I was like, "Oh my God, your friend, little friend here, is so cute." And he goes, "You mean my husband?" <laughs> and then he I was said, not "Expecting that." And then he says, "Do you want to make out with them?" <laughs> like I'm gonna say no. <laughs> well, okay, but I was just like, he was cute. He was cute. I got and off I a snaggle tooth, and I was like, what? <laughs> so that happened, and then he joined, and the next thing I know, the three of us are sucking face again. Liquid courage, liquid yeah. courage, mm-hmm. and um, that was the end of that. That was the end of that. It literally just, it just a little stopped making out as fast as it started. It was very quick. Yeah, and, uh, and Rick the Dick and uh, and and Nerd Boy, the, the all of them just left. They were over the trails. They were on their yeah. way out too, I believe. Yeah. So, um, but we were still feeling like Dora the Explorer. Yeah, honey. we were. Mm-hmm. We wanted we to venture further into these woods. We did. We had to see what was going on. So we um, happened upon. A nice bridge. Yes. Mm-hmm. A bridge over troubled sands. <laughs> if you will. A bridge to nowhere, that's for sure. Um, and I believe the purpose of this bridge is so... Um, this, this is the waiver here. If you are below the age of 22, you probably shouldn't hear this. Right. Well, that's fine. 
they can um, deal with it. This is an adult only kind of. Well, this whole podcast really should be adults only. And it's ex- we put it out there. It's a little it's explicit. explicit. It's fine. A little detailed. It. Yeah. Mm. So there was this. The pur- purpose of this bridge, I believe, is so that someone could be up on the little bridge, which went about two or three foot over the ground level. And someone else could be down on the ground and be like the perfect height for, for the crotchal area. For a, for a lollipop. For a nice popsicle. Yeah. So that's, I think, the purpose of the bridge. Correct. And I should add that we, I had a little flashlight. I bought us both flashlights. Mine was utilized mm. quite a bit. Hand check. Over the weekend. I wanted to make sure we were being good Christian women, so I was hand check. Give them a little mm. spotlight. Checking out action. Yeah. Um, so that happened. She was very thorough. Um, so anyway, that's we ventured there, and then we hung out there for just a minute. There, there were some nice slogans on this bridge. The, mm. big, the big statement on the bridge was, love, peace, and booty grease. Well, we didn't even get into that until the next day, because we walked No, 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 we saw it that morning. night on the, with the oh, flashlight. Oh, because the flashlight, Love, that's peace, right. and booty grease. Um, Ooh, was there so a lot we, of booty grease we probably spread. should start streamlining our stories because we're at 41 minutes. Correct, yeah. Um, so we're going to fast forward a little bit. We found a little picnic table area. Mm-hmm. We found two walls with um, holes in them. Not sure what those mm-hmm. were used for. A cute little opening where the tree was just right for you to put and yourself I in was position. A, I believe it was glow in the... Actually, we didn't see that until the next day. No, because that's where we took our clothes off. No, it was Ariel's little landing. Where we that's what I'm talking off. about. But that's not where the wall was at. The walls we didn't see until the next day. No, right. I'm not talking about the wall. I'm talking okay. about where the tree was laid over. So and there was a V tree, like a tree that had fallen mm-hmm. with a nice V. I would have to say that that was like Mother Nature's sling. Mm-hmm. And it was an opening in the trees where the moon was hitting us just right. And I don't know where it came from, but the rest of my clothes came off right we there. We decided mm-hmm. to just be adventurers mm-hmm. and take all of our clothes off and we hung we hung them from our bunny ears well, i was in my underwear only so yeah. i just needed to drop trowel and we I placed mean, them on all our I ears had, yeah it was my shirt and my, my pants but yeah i put them on we put them on our ears and then we just ran around that place like we like mowgli and we the jungle forged book. on through the trails we came out at the little pond area in the middle mm-hmm. we walked along the pond yeah we saw the ducks. And then we went back into a smaller portion of the trail and then found the exit. Correct. Yeah. And we decided to just walk through the campgrounds. Yeah. In the buff. And we decided to stop at the little bathhouse thing. We not bathhouse. Bath Wait, hold on. Not the bathhouse. Mm-hmm. No. It was, it was a bath bathroom. <laughs> there was a bathroom with showers. A yeah. really nice one, actually. Yeah, and, it, was. Um, it was. It was a laundromat laundry. on the other side. Took a selfie. Took a couple selfies mm-hmm. in the mirror, which you can find on our Instagram. Yeah, that's on Instagram. Don't miss out on stuff. And then we decided, you know what? It's almost four in the morning. We need to get home. <laughs> we need to get home. And this is where it gets interesting again because when we got home, I actually went to bed. I just passed out right in the well, middle of bed. I'm going to really quick in the middle. Before we hit the bed, we decided to just scoop our hands in some meatballs that some good, lovely person put oh, on the right. Put they on were, the they were on us. and delicious. We smelled them and they were just calling our names. So we. Mm-hmm. I ate about 15 meatballs. I mean, yeah. And I was somewhere around 10. It so was then really we decided to get in the bed. Correct. And, uh, uh, I, I, and I literally just laid down, ears and all. And I totally forgot my bed sheets, so I had to borrow a blanket and a pillow from you. Thank you. You're such right. a good Christian woman. Well, I laid in my bed, and I looked over, and there was Tony... And his bed was so big. And, well, it started because I noticed that his mattress was a little exposed. And mm-hmm. so I thought he was laying on the mattress. And Lord knows what kind of things are on that mattress. But it looked exposed. So um, oh, so you were concerned about his I safety? I was concerned about the exposure of the mattress. So I wanted to... Ju- I just climbed in bed with oh Tony. Oh, my God. Um, innocently. Just climbed in bed with Tony. And at this point, the liquid courage was wearing off. I was in, of sound body and mind. I did this... Um, of sound body and mind, I just decided to climb in the bed with Tony. He looked, he looked so cuddly and comfortable when he was awake. Mm. So, um, yeah, C- Tony's a good cuddle buddy. Yeah. Very respectful and just very... Very, very cute. Very cute. Very nice. Mm. We we just cuddled and slept. I slept so good. Really? Mm-hmm. I hate it when people touch me while I'm sleeping. I slept so... We just cuddled all night. He cuddled me and we spooned for a minute. It was nice. Nice. Um... 
And and plus, Jr. needed a pillow, so I threw him a pillow. Yeah, she threw me a pillow, and I latched on and held on to that <laughs> thing all weekend. Unfortunately, it wasn't Audrey, but no, it worked. Um, so that was Friday night. Ironically, Saturday morning, I was not hungover. I actually felt pretty good Saturday morning. Wait, did you not have a pillow the rest of the weekend? No. That's okay. What? I didn't really need one. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't need one. I was... I was tired. Oh my god, I I'm a horrible person. I, I would have known that I would have given it right back to you. Well, let's get right into this. We have 15 yeah, yeah, minutes. Yeah, 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 right. Saturday, Saturday. 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 So, Sunday. Saturday, and there's a lot of cover on Saturday. Woke up with a horrible hangover. I was not happy... Um, <laughs> I did not. I woke up with Megan Trainers, me. No, 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 no. Two in my this head. is this is this bitch. But she woke up. She was. I'm ready to go. Where are we at? <laughs> <laughs> like she just lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. She was just bam. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm surprised I wasn't hungover, but I, was, I had Megan <laughs> Trainers, me too, in my head, and I was just oh oh yelling at yelling. At <laughs> so, um, I have never seen somebody just. Come on, like that. Was very. So. I was excited about going to the pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The pool. Oh my God. Yes. I, I love the pool. So we did. We got up and got ourselves together. Yeah. In a big group in mm -hmm. group fashion. We put she our said. On. She says to me, "Girl, you want to have a cigarette?" And I go. Oh. <laughs> She's like, "Okay," and went out and had one on her own. So in good good group fashion, we showed up at the pool and showed out. Oh, we yeah. had reserved. Someone mm -hmm. had reserved two of the cabanas. <clears throat> oh my god, that was, that's always fabulous. Although I never use them. We didn't use them. I put we my just, stuff in the place there. to put her things. Yeah, because mm -hmm. all of the regular sun chairs were already reserved. I'm sure before mm -hmm. like ten o'clock, they were reserved early. Yes, yes. It was some good sun. It was some good sun. There was a lot going on. Uh, we got in the pool. We had some great time. There was a lovely, lovely, lovely. Big dark anaconda that decided to venture. The BBC the shows up. Oh my God! I was in seventh heaven. It was the, probably the funniest moment for me was when the BBC got out of the water mm -hmm. and up the steps. And I guess the path they were going was around the pool. It literally, I looked around and like everybody's head was in unison with following the BBC. <laughs> the pool. And it was a good. It was a good. 50 plus people around. Oh it was in unison. Everybody's head was just following the BBC. Mm. It was like they were in a trance. Absolutely. Yep. And then that, and that's when Watermelon showed up. Watermelon the, yeah, showed up. The dancer. Um, BC. BC showed up. And that's where we figured out that it was a BC. That's where we learned. It's where beer can. It was a nice BC. Jesus Christ. Because um, the Watermelon got wet and the maybe... He did or didn't know, but the pink is see through. Yeah, and we were able to see through, which didn't he matter because that on night the side of the pool and it was just whoa. I yeah, and no we were there. Yeah, we were talking and like literally, my head was like three inches away, and I'm like, wow, oh my god, it was I'm gonna put somebody's just, eye out with that thing. Watch it, bitch. It left absolutely zero to the imagination. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, not that it would have mattered because later that night he ended up dancing uh, yeah. in the buff it. all. In all its glory. All its glory. And, okay, so anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So, then the drag queen comes out and is, We're nerd people for... <laughs> I cannot the, do her voice. Her voice is so hard to, <laughs> to mimic. I cannot do it. We, so they but did, for the tug of war. No, no, they did do dodgeball first. Oh, right, yeah. I didn't participate in the dodgeball. Which, um, a softballers won. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was really, it was fun time. I think that they made an event out of the weekend because they knew there were going to be a lot of softball yeah. people there. So they made no, it. They always, they always and do. And so it was, it was fun time with the softballers. They played mm -hmm. dodgeball first, which is softballer won. Yeah. Then we played tug of war. Tug of war. And we ended up which, getting mixed bag because there we were just people up. everywhere and there was too many of us. Well, one split. side, one side was all softballers. The right. other side was three softballers. Two, two softballers you and, and I. two mm -hmm. regular guests. Mm -hmm. um, but we ended up winning that, mm -hmm. which was a $50 bar tab. For four people. For four people. So, so. we just got one drink. Yeah. Was, which was fun. Just so you know, if you ever get snow cone and have a fireball on the side, you pour a little fireball into your snow cone. It's actually really good. It was tasty. I yeah. got the tiger's blood flavor, which mm -hmm. was delish. I think I got cherry. Cherry. Which was excellent. So then they did tug of war. Mm -hmm. And then what happened after tug of war? Tug of war was when I decided to go back to the cabin because I was going to start grilling. 
We did go. I went food. back with you, mm -hmm. and I decided to take a little siesta because it finally Friday night caught up with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. So this was about two thirty, three o'clock, mm -hmm. and uh, my siesta turned into a mini hibernation period because I. She Next, was out. I don't like know what happened in between yeah. there, but I yeah. woke up. She was out for a good two hours. And five thirty, I woke up. And someone I decided to give me another substance that put me out, and literally, I just closed my eyes, and there they are walking in. Jr., why aren't you? Why aren't you on the grill? And I'm like, okay, I'm so, going. So I woke up around five thirty ish, and shit had already happened. Yeah, they missed the Easter egg hunt. But I missed the it, but Easter egg okay. hunt. The group won. And softballers won. The softballers won, and we got a free trip to the bunkhouse so for New Year. New Year. Yes, and that means another podcast will be dedicated to Sawmill. How and fun is saw, that? Sawmill podcast. Mm -hmm. Right, so anyway, all right, so then that happened, and then uh, we cooked the food. We had an excellent dinner. It was an I did a dinner. wonderful job cooking the meat. Uh, and then we. Well, he knows how to handle his meat. <laughs> I wish people. In more I, ways than one. I would. I wish the men folk would would uh, Realize explore this. that. Yeah, right. it would be nice. But anyway, so then we did that, and then the sun went down, and we started drinking again. Yeah, I couldn't drink as much on Friday. I knew I could like, either drinking. I would get like a little miserable and tired, so I didn't drink much. I sipped mm -hmm. on some wine. But that's when shit. That's when the train came off the rails. Yeah, the train came. On. Well, no, not quite yet, because we went to we went to the drag show. We'll fast forward up to fast forward drag show to, happened. Yeah, love and match, love match game happened. Match game happened. It was boring as shit. And then, then I get calling. told by my coach that there's no other representative from our team in the so you think you can drag contest, and I have to. They didn't even give us wigs. And I, I mean, I wasn't going to, I was going to do it earlier. I was like, I'll do it. I will do it. And then I was like, oh, I'm not going to do You're it. You're always on the fence about that. I'm not going to do it. And then nobody, when they said nobody was doing it, so I was like, okay, I'll do it. And I was representing mm -hmm. Orlando Liberty. I was the only person there for my team. Um, and then we had, uh, we Kendrick. had Kendrick from the Rage. From Rage. Mm -hmm. She was in so it. there was three of us. She's going to be a guest sometime soon. You will love her. She is She's absolutely bad. fabulous. You love her. But anyway, it's so funny. Oh my god, yeah. It's so funny. Oh, I can't wait to have her on the podcast. Ma'am. 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 Ma'am's all around. Ma'am's all around. Ma'am's all around. Come on, Grill. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> what was it? Hashtag alternative facts. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag alternative facts. <laughs> Hashtag alternative facts. Because I did not get your prize. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, uh, and then we did So You Think You Can Drag, and... Uh, and it came, after round one, it mm -hmm. came down to me and this bitch. Right, and Kendrick, she's a wonderful dancer. Don't... Absolutely. We, we gotta give her she props. She got the short she end of was, the stick. She did. The dancer kind of just pushed him off the stage too early. And we were not... it was, yeah. honestly, that first round, the cheers was an even matched between us. I know, it really was. And then the it was even was, more even matched whenever it was the two of us. It was even matched, but we did round one... I and think everybody was, felt sorry for me because the drag queen was making fat jokes. I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't watch you, so I don't know what you were doing. I don't know. I didn't watch element. you, but I know what you do, though, because we dance every Friday night yeah. at Parliament House. I was in my own element. So, they, right, and that's what we do. We go, when we both, and I, by the way, I had chugged two big drinks with lots and lots of fireball in it. So, I was feeling myself, I was ready for it, but... So we yeah. So it came down so to they the couldn't two of us. determine. They couldn't determine who got the loudest cheer. So yeah. we had to do another, another round. Number. There was a, we did like what was it? it literally was six rounds and well, it was suicide drag. So we didn't know was, what was coming either. It was if you watched RuPaul's Drag Race, it was like the lip sync for your life battle. It was Ish. at the same time because it was set several different songs in one set. It was yeah. It was lip sync it was for your life ups. and it was suicide drag so we did not know what songs were coming on right. mm -hmm. they just in the middle of the song flipped it to a different diva song mm -hmm. and luckily I've done my research and history on diva mixes so I knew pretty much all of the songs there was only one that I was really just had no fucking clue the rest of them I was like oh peas and carrots peas and carrots peas it and was carrots. Spice Girls no it wasn't oh, was it? I knew the Spice Girls which one? Oh no I can't was I don't know Donna it Summer? it was the Donna Summer that's the, the one that, the last dance Donna Summer 
Don't judge me. I'm not judging. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not, baby. Um, but either way, though, that was the one, and you started doing the kick, the what, the step back, kickball step back. change, honey, kickball yeah. change. Yeah, and I um, don't know pot that beret, move. Pot of beret. I, yeah, I don't know those moves, so I knew. But you know that you know where where I did get the votes though was when they were I can't remember what they were playing they played something where we were twerking, the twerking. It, this bitch got me in twerking cause oh I, my god my ass I can shake my ass all day long she started this lawnmower up and there was no stopping it okay and then while we were in our last round I had two fans <laughs> I had two fans they were going twerk 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 and it was Britney though I couldn't twerk to Britney it was Britney I had to do these numbers, you know, I couldn't do Britney for it, so... Was it... I think it was, like, one, two, three, four rounds that we did in yeah, total. Yeah, in total. So, after the second round, still couldn't determine who mm-hmm. was the winner. So, then they recruited this, um, the dancer up with his back to the audience, mm-hmm. did another round. He couldn't determine who won. He was yeah. like, just split it. They both won, but they could not split the prize. <laughs> which which we the, don't know at yet. At the moment, we, we, we did not didn't know. even know we what didn't the even hell know. we were going to win. We, didn't we were know. like, oh, it's going to be like a $50 prize. I was like, yeah, I was like, why do. can't they just split that up? Right. right. It was 20, I thought it was $25, which was. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's so what like, you thought it was $25. So was like, 20, 12 dollars each. Split and I was like, they're making us work awful damn hard for this $25. So they were like, we can't split the prize. We need to have one winner only. So we do another round, and this was my favorite round. This is when Donna Summer came out. And that's when Brittany she put my dick in the dirt. <laughs> Until Brittany came on, and then I came back to life after that. Because round two, it I was just strong. Dream, there was a Dream Girls song, yeah. and I was like, oh, I ain't heard Dream Girls in my whole I, I love Dream Girls. I don't want to make it sound like I don't, but it's so boring to I perform it. I did not know it. It's, it's boring to perform. But that was my apple watermelon. Unless it was, so I am telling you. Right. I could have done that one really well. That one did come out. It didn't. I know. No? I don't think so. I could be Why wrong. Why was I pointing at people? I think it did come out for a second. And it you. Was quick. And you. It and was you. quick. We, it oh, did okay. Out. All right. Yeah, it didn't last long. But but um, so we did four rounds, and mm-hmm. they and then they brought um, the drag performers who was already out of hair. And yeah, they were shit. done. They were done. But they stopped them, brought them on the stage for them to be the final deciders and vote. Mm-hmm. One sat over here on his side. The other sat on my side. Mm-hmm. To vote on who deserved yeah. to win, and um, it did. Come and they down. still had a hard time. They, they both did. struggled. There was no they were still doing the screaming. No, they, they let the audience. They let vote, the audience vote, but, but it was ultimately their decision. Yeah, kind of like RuPaul. Which, since it came down to the two of us, I mean, we both really won. We were at, well, after. I think <laughs> after the price round, was going to be shared regardless. I, after round three, I came up to this bitch and said, "Girl, I don't even care who wins. I'm just tired yeah. of doing this." Yeah, we gave each other a big hug on stage. We were like, "We played. We were, we were very humble. We were. Yes, we were good sportsmen. Yes, we were." So, um, but it did come down. They did decide that mm-hmm. I won, mm-hmm. and that there was some booze from the audience because they really wanted. To us both to win, we both the big tore girl. Them. I mean, I think that's why people get so mad at Drag Race. Is somebody they just want a big girl to win. Yeah, you know, maybe and, this is oh, the year. Everybody loves us. So, um, so anyway, mm. so after it happens, we're mm. like, yeah, we, and it was like a good thirty minutes or mm. so goes by, and like, still don't know what we won. I was like, I don't even know what the prize is. Like, right. that's cool. I don't even know what the prize is. Don't know. Mm-hmm. So we kind of. Went about our business for a bit. We like mm-hmm. let it go. I was asked the dancer boys like, "Do you know what the prize was, or do you know who we need to talk to about?" Because I've never got anything. Right. Never got anything. And he said they gave it to Kendrick. They gave it to Kendrick. And I we thought were like, it was twenty five dollars. So mm-hmm. I was like, it's not a big deal, but we were gonna get some cigarettes. Needed yeah. Some money. Oh yeah. We need yeah. So like that twenty five. Because I lost needed. my wallet on Friday night. She did. Lost her. Wallet. I lost my wallet on Friday night. Didn't have it. So I thought that um. So we ran into Kendrick. We ran. We into went Kendrick. back to the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To get um, drinks. Brew to fill. get drinks. Ran into Kendrick, and I was like, Kendrick, did they give you the prize from the drag battle thing? He was like, no, alternative facts. She goes, <laughs> hashtag alternative facts. No, that did not happen. So I was like, oh, then we need to talk to Justin, the manager. Mm-hmm. Um, so we go back with the group. Yeah. Um, the scenic route. Anyway. Yeah. Scenic route, back to the group at Woody's. And um, I run into Justin. I'm like, hey, Justin, um, what was the prize for that drag battle? Because you know, we never got it. He's like... Just nonchalantly, he was. He said, "Oh, it was a cruise." We all, looked, we, all, we all looked at each other like, 
<laughs> Are you fucking with was me? This, like, was this was this announced at some point? Because I I fucking missed it. I did not hear that. I mean, I think more people would have joined or participated. Right. Than they know. Right. It was I, a damn cruise. It was not just a cruise. A five day cruise mm. on either cause to Cozumel mm. or Bur. No, uh, the Bahamas. It's Bahamas. Uh, not Nassau. Nassau. Um, Cozumel or one from Los remember. Angeles. I don't, I don't remember what that one was. But a, a five day cruise. For five day cruise, people. girl. Oh my god. For two people. Mm. So of course we're going together. Yeah. So there we is. So we, we split the prize anyway. Yeah. Exactly. The people so. want something and they get it. That's true. We're splitting it. Yep. You're welcome, Sawmill. I think we're gonna have to. We're wrap gonna have this to cut up. it short. We're gonna have and to skip a bunch of yeah. parts. I'm sorry. Well, no. What we're gonna. Well, here's what we should do. Part well, two. We're, yeah, we're gonna do a part two, and we're gonna keep them in suspense because Saturday night is when the real fireworks. Juicy, went off. real juicy stuff. Saturday night. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> juicy. It really was juicy. Just juice all over. <laughs> <laughs> Tea and juice. <laughs> <laughs> so trust me. Tune in next. Gonna, tune, tune in next, next week. episode. Yes. To fit, find out, we may even be able to do it tomorrow because we're both off work. That's true. We should. We, we may have a. We may have a part two tomorrow. Sawmill part two. Part two. Sawmill to the. Squared. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say sawmill to the second power. <laughs> sawmill with the two exponent. There we go. All right. Well, you guys stay classy. We're gonna go ahead and sign off for tonight. Don't forget Instagram. We are Instagram straight, straight up, up podcast mm-hmm. spelled out spelled out s t r a i g h t. Gmail. Straight up podcast. Gmail is straight up podcast at gmail.com, but it's mm-hmm. str the number eight mm-hmm. up podcast at gmail.com. Correct. And then we're also on the Twitters. Yes. Um, the Twitter is straight up podcast DJ. Mm-hmm. So find us at all those exclusive locations. Absolutely. At us. Instagram's Whoa. really getting getting popular. Uh, Twitter, really, we need to do some more stuff on Twitter. We're a little more active on the Instagram. We really are. That's where all of our pictures are and fun videos fun and videos. things like that. Like, There's I a mean, nice slow-mo video of me re- trying to duplicate oh, or yeah. me mimicking the king of catwalk. Who mm-hmm. I keep getting tagged in his videos. I was like, I'm doing a video this right. week and it's happening. She mm-hmm. So check that out on our Instagram. Yes, she, and she slayed it. She slayed it. Mm-hmm. Mid, or Hello Kitty was just all over the place. I'll it say that. It was very mm-hmm. much Hello Kitty. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Kitty and Puppy Dog. <laughs> um, so anyway, yes. All right, very good. Thank you guys for tuning in. Mm-hmm. Have and a wonderful we'll, evening. We'll do our closings on the part de. Correct, that's right. So have a good night, everybody. Good night, happy Easter. Special thanks to all those who helped with the show.